Hey guys, Jack Swiss here, and today, I'm going to be discussing Forza Horizon 5. Now as you probably know, the topic has been gaining a lot of popularity, and even the location has been leaked. And while, as with all rumors, people should take this with a grain of salt, this recent spike of interest has left many to theorize about what new features, cars or even events will be added into the game. However, today we'll be focusing on what we don't want to see returning to the Forza Horizon series, whether it's a serious problem that hinders some from playing the game, or even an unwanted feature that practically no one uses. So without further ado, let's get into the video. At number 4, I have the glitched and hacked records that plague every speed trap and danger sign. And if you've ever even considered trying to rank on the Forza World Leaderboard, then you've definitely come across this problem. If you haven't, though, then what I mean by glitched scores are usually players either physically hacking the game, or finding certain glitches that allow them to score far above what should be possible on whatever course or stunt they are doing. And like everyone that plays the game agrees, this is an issue that definitely has to be addressed. Now although they're not entirely avoidable, I feel like Forza should do a better job at listening to their fan base and fixing any glitches or hacked scores, and they should definitely put more effort into them not being present in the first place. So this is an issue that I'm sure no one would want to see return in Horizon 5. At number 3, I have the bland, colorless map that Horizon 4 has compared to the other games. And if you've played any of the other games in the series, then you'll know that Forza can do a lot better in terms of the maps for their games when taking a look back at the previous ones, especially Horizon 2. And when putting those up against the Horizon 4 map, there really is just no comparison. So I feel like the map is something that should really be addressed in the next game. And if they are doing Mexico like the rumors say, then that would be the perfect location for new events, terrain, and environments for Forza players to explore. So this is something that I know Forza can do if they try, and something that I definitely hope to see in the next game. At number 2, I have emotes and customization. And before you furiously comment and tell me that you still use and enjoy them, just hear me out. I'm aware that some of the fan base enjoys equipping different clothing and doing different dances with their character, but I don't think that emotes should be prioritized in the game development and in the game itself like in Forza Horizon 4. For instance, when you're doing a wheel spin, you're obviously hoping to get something valuable, like money or a rare car. And if you get something like a piece of clothing or a dance move, you're obviously going to be disappointed. The same goes for people leveling up in certain areas of the game, hoping for similar things, only to be met with a fancy hat and some pointed shoes. So while I do appreciate their presence, I think they should be more of a background item for players to enjoy. And finally at number 1, I have the horrible server quality of Horizon 4, and if you've played online, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's nothing more frustrating in a race than the game suddenly starting to glitch out and run slower, and in some cases, even disconnect the player altogether. It's an issue all too common in the Forza community, and to be honest, I think that it should definitely be addressed before the release of the next game. Because in doing this, not only will you encourage your fan base to play online often, but the overall quality and value of the game will go up. So this is definitely something that I desperately hope to see with the release of Horizon 5, and something that would make Forza Miles better in terms of the quality of the game. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps out my channel, and I'd really appreciate if you did. If you didn't like the video, please leave a comment below telling me what I could've did better. And if you have a video suggestion, leave it in the comments, and I'll do my best to get it out. But anyway, I'm Jack Swiss, and thanks for watching.